Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. Today we're taking a look at something really interesting. This is a page that's been cut out from a magazine from the, the mid-50s. And it's looking at the British Army's brand new recoilless rifle system. Now the British Army have been interested in recoilless rifles since uh, maybe 1942. And they've been developing the Bernie gun, etc. And um, by the mid-50s they'd... they'd brought this system into into service and it was the battalion anti-tank gun otherwise known as the bat gun which you can just see just here and I'm not entirely sure which magazine this is from but from the style and the illustrator I think it's from an issue of the illustrated London news um, and I think it dates from around 1955 it was illustrated by special artist, the publication's special artist, G. H. Davis, with official co cooperation. So what what they've done is they've basically done what we today know as an infographic, and there's various illustrations of how the gun uh, works, was used in the field, was transported, and a little bit about the the ammunition as well. So if we start up here in the, in the top corner. We have how the bat gun fires. Fixed ammunition is used and is fired electronically. A plastic disc which closes the rear end of the cartridge is blown out and a proportion of the resultant propellant gases passes rearward through the Venturi, which is this here. So there's a loading tray on top of the sort of Venturi. Um, and then we have the barrel, a towing eye, and a vertically sliding breech block. Um, each operating lever uh, and then in the main illustration we have the gun in action so we have over here we have what looks like a um, an Oxford carrier um, and then we have the detachment commander and then the number one two and three so the number one is the aimer the number two is the loader and the number three um, is the ammunition bearer etc so you can see here the guns firing and it's a recoilless rifle, so there is propellant gases venting both fore and aft. So this is a good point to take a look at some footage of a bat in action. In this clip we have an Oxford carrier moving the gun into action. The crew dismount, unlimber and bring the gun into position. We get a good look at the breech opening and down the barrel. And then we get to see a few rounds fired onto a distant target. We can see the commander looking through his binoculars spotting the target and the one, two and three manning the gun itself. Here we have uh, a nice representation of the increase in the size of calibre of anti-tank guns. So while the recoilless rifle isn't an actual anti-tank gun in the classic sense like the six pounder and the two pounder and the 17, we have a, uh, an illustration of of the size of the, the, the rounds that the guns are firing. So the 40mm 2 pounder, 57mm 6 pounder, the 75mm 17 pounder and the 120mm um, battalion anti-tank gun. So the battalion anti-tank gun fired a Hesh round which is a high explosive squash head which would have struck the target, compressed onto it and then detonated on it, and that would have blown inwards into the tank. So we, we have some size illustrations here, we, it shows that from breech to muzzle it's 11 foot 6 inches long, and we can see how it's lower profile than the 17 pounder which was the, the standard uh, anti-tank gun of the, the end of the war and into the early cold war as well. So yeah, we have a little bit here on the elaborate recoil mechanism of a uh, of the 17 pounder, the recuperator, which obviously with it being a recoilless rifle is no longer needed. And then down at the bottom here we have another comparison of the 17 pounder and the, the bat, um, not requiring uh, spades, all this extra weight. So while the 17 pounders 6,500 pounds, the, the bat gun 
is is just 2100 so it's a significant reduction in weight so you can see here how it's being towed by a standard jeep so at the bottom we have a little um, write up on what what can basically be be shared at this point about the the weapon and how it works and how it's going to be used so we can see here the title of the piece is Britain's latest and most powerful anti-tank weapon the 120 mm recoilless battalion anti-tank gun in action and its caliber and ammunition compared to those of its predecessors and on the back um, we have a little article on uh, a window on the world the progress of the neutrality campaign We've got Eisenhower addressing the UN not really related to uh, the battalion anti-tank gun but there we go so yeah I hope you enjoy this quick look at this I'm going to dig a little deeper into this and we're going to have some more uh, recoilless rifle content on the channel coming up both in the terms of uh, looks at the actual weapons themselves and also some uh, videos on ephemera and manuals like this one so if you enjoyed it please do like share and subscribe please share the videos with friends as it really helps the channel and if you can please check out our patreon page and support the channel that way so we continue to add pieces of history like this one to the tab reference collection and I can bring them to you in videos like this one. Thanks again, catch you next time.